Hey guys, Anthony 4 before Diesel. We've got a quick little bit of information. This is going to be similar to the tech tips and stuff. We've got tech tip videos in the VIP group. There's big long ones that go for hours and hours, full injector replacement videos, but there's also little five or 10 minute tech tip videos, right? This is one way you can check the injector alignment. So the injectors are sitting in, they're not torqued down yet. They're all aligned by the fuel return line. The valve cover's sitting on and we're using the mirror because it's hard to see sometimes over this side over this way right see the caps are on you don't push the valve cover down this is why you, you don't just watch these few videos and then go i'm going to do my own injectors because you get there's a lot of pitfalls right but the valve cover is just sitting on above the red caps do not push it down and you can visually check to see what the alignment is right i'm just going to come around here for a minute right so you go yep but sometimes down the back you can't see that well so you can get that mirror over the other side and check it in the reflection but hey that's not what this is about that's just a little tech what it was tip. meant to be about is i'm really trying to confuse you or maybe unconfuse you or you've got to work out whether you're confused or not or whether you want to be confused or not because on one hand i'm saying you should probably re replace your injectors at this time and these kilometers and then on the other hand i show you there's all these vehicles that they've actually lasted really well at really high case so i suppose for all the people that say oh no you know i would never touch one of them there you know, buckets of, you know, whatever, you know, and, the, and they don't like the, well, mate, you're dreaming. These are one of the best ones, you know. We choose the best because we don't need, it's just understanding, right? So we just give you the information. That's why you check out the injector information playlist so you can understand it better. This vehicle, it's a 2012, so it's 10 years old. You know, my recommendation, it's based on averages. We're talking 120s, 150s, Hiluxes. It's an average, seven years, 170. Some of them will be need to be changed at less than that. Some will last a bit longer than that. If you want to get into the specifics, you need to subscribe, turn the bell on so you don't miss out on that really important information, getting yourself educated. What I want to show you here, this has only done 140, well, it's just under 147K, 146, blah, 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 right? So we'll call it 147K. So it's 10 years old, so it's done more time but it's done less case. So what's the problem here? Well, no problem. He's just changing the injectors as prevention, following the advice. He watches the videos. He trusts me. He, you know, I'm telling you, I trust myself. I'm trying to tell you that, you know, this is what I believe. We, this is what we specialize in. I reckon it's good information. Maybe I'm wrong about it all. Maybe I've got it all wrong, but you know, I'm doing the best we can here. And to help you make a decision so you don't just have to trust me. I'm trying to show you the evidence to so you can make your own decision what you want to do. So. 2012, 10 years old, 147,000 kilometers. That says to me, it's done lower than average Ks. That's done for about 14 odd thousand Ks a year, right? A lot of people do 20, 25, 30, 40. My cars typically, when I only have one car, does at least 40,000 a year, even more. When I have a few cars, well, sometimes they do that anyway, because it's all about life, trips and traveling if you can, but you need to obviously plan your life that way and organize yourself that way. and. I'm really well organized, so I'm trying to help you learn some of that organization. So if you like it, like I said, subscribe, turn the bell on. Now, one of these injectors, uh, I've forgotten already, was it number three? Number three was the one, it was a little bit tight to get out, and we're sort of like, why would that be? It could be just coincidence, maybe the O-ring's swelling up a little bit, maybe there's a little bit of blow-by starting, there was more mess here as well. We've just cleaned it up a little bit, because we've taken the seats off, and that's what I wanted to show you, how much erosion there is at 140 odd thousand Ks. Because it's done lower case, it's done more warm-up cycles, you know, short trip, stop, start driving, which means more movement between the injectors. This is mild steel, you know, this is steel. Okay, the head of the engine that it goes into is alloy, and the seat in between is copper. So we've got three different materials, all expanding and contracting at different rates. So you get a bit of a wear situation going on. So if someone's done a lot of highway Ks, 50, 60, 70,000 Ks a year, there's a good chance their seats and their injectors would easily last 300,000 Ks because they're doing these massive highway Ks, 300,000 Ks in four years or something, for example, right? Yes, that's probably how long they would last, subject to contamination and contamination from the fuel you've added in the, in the where you've filled it up or people working on the vehicle pulling the fuel pipes off. So neither of that happened. These things will just kind of go forever, you know, on the highway cycle. But the stop start, that's not really what they're designed for. That's why we'll have a video soon talking about whether you should buy the new car or not, whether you should wait, whether you should get, be getting a hybrid or electric, and whether you should uh, perhaps, a lot of people should downsize and have a hybrid Corolla and get four litres per 100 k's because 
get them while they're cheap, get them while you can, and they're one of the most efficient vehicles, and they get you around, and it's probably a good option for many people. That's a separate video, back to what we were talking about here, right? But subscribe, turn the bell on if you don't want to miss that as well. There's so many things we've got to discuss and information we've got to share. But let's get in and have a little bit of a closer look if we can. You can see the erosion already, as what you would see on the ones that I show you that have done 300,000 Ks. We'll just turn over each one as well. So you can just have a good look. I'll try and get in there and get the... See, they just erode away in the middle. This one, it's the bottom. It's over this side down the bottom here, right? Five o'clock. See, it's, you know, I know it's hard to get the focus when you look at something that closely. See this one? You can see it's the right side. See three o'clock, how it's really eroding away. So even though it's only done half the case, some of the other ones, it's moved now. It's up at around 11 o'clock. You know what? You can see the taper. You've got the flat area. And you've got a taper on the inside and the outside of the seat. On the inside, what happens, they do erode and wear away. Okay, number three, this was the one that was a bit tight, which sort of instigated this whole process. And I'm like, mate, you guys are just totally sick of seeing this view, aren't you? You know what I mean? I, I get it. You're totally sick of seeing this view. Injectors again, whatever. But I'm just trying to show you the examples. We'll keep it short. I'm nearly done. It's going to be a short video, right? So over this side, right, we need to get that focus happening again. There we go, right? We'll turn that one over as well just because we can. So it doesn't look like it was leaking. It doesn't even look like it was going to leak too soon. So it was probably just coincidence why the injector was a little bit stuck. It wasn't hard to get out. And you can see that one eroded at the top. So what happens is that erosion, it just sort of uh, continues. It continues, it continues, and eventually, you know, they, they leak. So... That's the key issue here. They're not designed to last forever. It's maintenance. It is part of the normal maintenance schedule, which is different. You, I can't keep repeating myself. People are getting sick of it. You know the, how they say every 40,000 Ks, and I say about every 170 or 150 or 200. Like I said, there's variables. If you want to know what the variables for your vehicle are, you really need to watch all the videos. We'll quickly say the 120 Prados, different injectors, might look the same. I would recommend changing those Based on what I've seen up until now, which is all the old injectors that were built in 05, 06, 07, 08. So these injectors, it's a 2012, but these were built in 2010. And not all the original injectors have the original white mark stamp on them. You know how you see that stamp? A lot of them do, a lot of them don't, okay? So that only happened early days. But, you know, that you know, I think they even might have been 07 or I don't know if there's injectors. I haven't taken that much notice, but a lot of the original ones have that stamp on them. But they don't all have that. So you can't just go, oh, it hasn't got the stamps, so they've been replaced, okay? All right. Um, so 120s, from what we've seen so far, and that would mean the Hilux as well, up until September 09, that type of injector, the ones that the compensation code on the top starts with 1-1 or 1-3, they're different injectors, but both of those, from what I've seen so far, I would be re recommending replacing those about every 150,000 Ks, about 150 based on the injector, and the seats will last that long, but check your oil pickups. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just go back through all the history of all the videos on our channel. Okay, if you've got a 150 Prado or a Hilux after about um, September 09, starting with 1.8, the code on the top of the injector, the first two digits, 1.8, okay. It, the original ones in the 09, 10, 11, and 12s, and some of the 13s, they're not full DLC, right? I've got some here, actually, by chance. Not full DLC is this one. I'm not going through it again. It's in the injector information, right? That's the not full DLC. Don't worry about these little nozzle needles, right? These ones are full DLC. I'm just going to quickly say it's much harder it's got less friction so that means they work better for longer this is what you've got in your old 09 this one here and your 010 and your 11 and whatever and i can't you know manufacturing in 2010 is where they changed but in vehicles by about 2013 so anything before that which is all over 10 years old now should already be changed right and if you've got the later ones with a full dlc they're the ones where I'm going to go. These injectors are good for about 200,000 usually, okay? But this is where there's variables, and you've just got to watch the whole video to get that information. Seven years, 170. So seven years is good. Sometimes you can get eight or nine if you've only done 150K and you've got full DLCs. You know, there's all these variables, and you've got to check the oil pickup just to be sure that's your free insurance. You don't want to take the pipes off. It'll risk contamination. If it's been worked on by these people, you may need to just replace the injectors. Start fresh so you know where you're at. Anyway... We're just about done, aren't we? Is that it? Must be it. Anyway, I just wanted to show you that these can erode away. 
the lowest kilometres we've ever seen them leaking is in the 140k. Uh, I think there's a 138 there, to be quite honest. 138. There's one or two in 130. One in 138. Maybe one or two in 140. Around 160, there's one or two. And most of them last over 200,000 k's. And we've seen a number of examples around 230 where they've started leaking and the blow-by started. So 230k, regardless of which injectors and what internals they've got, 230k on these seats is danger zone for a lot of people now just because it's danger zone and there's a lot leaking it doesn't mean that 90 percent of them won't be okay so if they're okay and you've been lucky thank you lucky stars say some more prayers and all that sort of thing and um bada bing it's time to start you know doing your research getting yourself educated and preparing for these things so that you can avoid catastrophic disaster or being left behind anyway guys thanks for watching uh, some people know what i mean were you thinking what I'm thinking? Yep, some people know I'm thinking what you're thinking and you're thinking what I'm thinking. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. Like I said, subscribe, turn the bell on. Uh, smash the like button if you learned something trying to help you here. Catch you on the next one. See ya.